Hi, Dr. Scott Beyer here, and today I'm going to talk a little bit on the uh, subject of our bacteria on our body. And, uh, you know, I've seen some studies say that we are at least as many bacterial cells as we are on human cells, and some studies go as high as uh, estimates as 10 times as many bacteria on us uh, than we are on human cells. And these bacteria, what we're finding out more and more in the research is that it's playing a huge role into the impact of our health and well-being. And they can either promote things like health and longevity or actually um, you know, work negatively against us. And really in one realm or one question that I see coming up you know, online is, is really, uh, can bacteria influence our body's metabolism? And uh, more recent research is saying yes. So uh, the certain scientists, and I believe the, the journal name was uh, Science of Translational Medicine. And uh, what they noticed is that in humans who had gastric bypass, so a procedure to help them lose weight, um, they've noticed that you know some people would respond really, really well to the procedure and they would lose a lot of weight and keep it off. And then others, you know, they would lose not so much and then others they would lose a little bit but then they would gain it all back and what they found out in, in at least in humans what they observed is that the the ones who were able to keep the weight off their bacteria in their gastrointestinal tract was drastically different than those who did it so what they did is they they designed a study using mice and what they did is they took a uh, group of obese mice so a bunch of different obese mice and uh, they gave them uh, either gastric bypass or a sham surgery, meaning that they, they opened them up, took apart their intestine, and then reattached them, okay? And then really to no surprise, you know, after looking at that, the gastric bypass mice uh, lost a lot of weight, okay? And then the, uh, the sham, where they didn't really do much, they just kind of disconnected, reattached, didn't lose any weight whatsoever. So, and then what's even more interesting though, is that just like in the human studies, when they looked at bacteria in their gastrointestinal intestinal tract, they found that the bacteria of the mice who actually had the gastric bypass and lost a lot of weight um, actually had drastically different bacteria than the, than the mice that were obese. So really interesting is they took this study a step further and they took the, uh, the bacteria in the lean mice and then the bacteria in the overweight mice and they gave it to a completely different set of mice. So they actually put it into their gastrointestinal tract. And these mice were uh, originally lean. And what they found is that the bacteria from the lean mice from the gastric bypass actually ended up staying lean. Okay, but what's even more interesting is that the bacteria from the overweight mice, when put into a lean mouse, the, uh, the mouse actually uh, put some pounds and actually uh, became obese. And uh, what's very, very interesting is that they're finding that the, the, the different types of bacteria in our gut, they can help and hinder us. There are certain bacteria that can, you know, produce more fats or, or short chain fatty acids, and that equals more calories, and uh, that equals more weight. There's certain bacteria that can mess with certain satiety hormones and they're finding that um, our gut has a huge role into you know not just obesity but to the rest of the the health of our body so one of the things that you can do to really help with our uh, gut bacteria is to make sure you're eating you know whole foods so different types of vegetables sometimes fermented foods and uh, you want to make sure that you're not only uh, eating some of those but certain starches can help feed some of those and eating an overall nutrient-dense diet. If you guys found this video uh, informative, we have a whole bunch more, not only on just the topic of gut, but for the topic of, of the health of the rest of our body on our Facebook page, on our YouTube page. So if you guys follow us on there, um, you'll be uh, kind of in the know for some of our upcoming videos. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative. I'm Dr. Scott Beyer. Have a wonderful day. <music>